what's up guys, it's that Sex Model Warfare Gamer Tab Banjo Chicken here and welcome to JTA Tutorials episode 16. Uh, I'm sorry this video is quite late. I have had a few requests, but um on my previous attempts to do this video they've the video's gone on for too long. Um uh, so I'm gonna have to try and cut it down here. But basically um to edit a DLL what you're going to need is obviously the DLL itself that you're trying to edit and most DLLs are encrypted so that you'll have to decrypt them and decompile them uh, using a DLL decryptor like this one which will be in the description so download this in the description extract it like I've done here and then what you want to do is drag your DLL inside because if you open this and most tutorials tell you to open it in a hex editor. I use another program because I don't like hex editor, but I'll show you it anyway in hex editor to begin with. Um, all the code here is all encrypted, so you're unable to edit it. So what we need to do, obviously, is um, decrypt it and decompile it. So if you run the CMD and run the edit, uh, open the edit. DLL text document and copy this code, XEX tool code, paste it in here. Um, change the, this name to the name of your DLL. Um, if you've got the same DLL as me, you don't need to change the name, so just press enter. And this DLL will be in the description as well. So let's see, right, okay, so it says it's unencrypted and uncompressed. And now the file size has increased. So again, if we um, open it up in hex editor, it is now not encrypted. All right, an easier way of searching through this rather than searching through it to try and find it. If you Control F and find the find some code that you know is in it. Um, so the name is something like clan name because it changes the clan name and then I found where all the code is. Now I don't like editing the code uh, in hex editor like this because as you can see like the code uh, or a dvar will get split off on one line and go on to the next line and it's just I find it as a bit confusing and a bit messy to edit like this so I prefer um, and I'd recommend you use Notepad++ because um, if we open it up in Notepad++ and I've zoomed in here to make it easier for you guys normally it'd be zoomed out like there but we zoom in and it's so much easier because as you can see all the codes on line 11 um, nor other DLL files the code might be near the end of line 10 uh, most of the time though it's on line 11 and all you have to do here uh, well, as you can see, the code's a lot more readable. It's all on one line, and you can mark line 11 so that you um, know exactly where the code is. And what I like to do to edit this, because you've got to bear in mind, if you change the file size, you will corrupt it. So if you add an extra character, like, I don't know, if I added, say, a space just here, that would corrupt it because I've made it bigger and if I say deleted a space somewhere um, that would also corrupt it because I've made it smaller so it has to stay exactly the same size so the best way in my opinion to do this is if you highlight the entire line and look down here where it says cell you know how big it is so it's 1209 characters so what we'll do or what I like to do is copy this create a new document paste it in here I'll zoom in for you guys and now we can edit it so if I control A it's 1209 characters and we can go and edit now I wouldn't recommend editing anything that's separated by this dot dot s um, I would st when I edit DLLs in order to not corrupt them edit the stuff that's after active action um, Okay, that's the one annoying thing about Notepad++ when it jumps to the end there. Um, anything after active action, uh, you can edit. So any of this code after active action, all of this right to the end, can all be edited. Um, 
I'm going to keep all this online game one, XBL private match. I would say any divars that you do not know, um, leave, uh, because online game one, XBL private match zero, SCR, no, not SCR, Adrian Nook, um, SCR DD time limit zero point one. That's all to do with um, XP and private match. Um, this, not not that. Hold on. This here, SCRDD time limit 0 0.1, um, makes the game, I think, end straight away, or is that the first one here? No, that'd be about right. Yeah, so basically, it, the game will end in five seconds and then switch sides on this particular DLL. So for editing the DLL, uh, let's take first thing clan name. Um, I want it to be unbound, so for an unbound clan tag, um, two at symbols uh, will make your clan tag unbound. And that doesn't change the file size at all. And then we've got another active action, time limit 99, G compass show enemies, that's uh, UAV always on, R underscore Z near is wall hack, G team name allies is the team name. So you can change this. Um, in case anyone thinks I'm being a leech for uh, editing this and changing it to my gamer tag, this person uh, who's edited the DLL, he's just edited the DLL before me. Um, the uh, DLLs actually alter IW, um, not uh, Stanky Mods. Stanky Mods just edited it like I'm doing. So I'm not uh, taking any credit away from anyone by doing this. Uh, so I should have showed you that there. This is 13 characters. So luckily my gamer tag with an S at the end is 13 characters. But I mean if you don't have, if your gamer tag something like, I don't know, Da Modder or something like that, that's only um, 8 characters long, then just do spaces so 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and that will work like that and that keeps the file size the same if we can control A it's still 1209 characters so I'll just change that back to my gamer tag and this signifies the color of the gamer tag as well so um, yeah I mean one is uh, red, 2 is green, I think 3 is yellow, 4 dark blue, 5 cyan, and 6 is pink. I'm not sure what 7, 8, 9, and 0 are. 1's black, 1's brown. Um, I'm not sure what the other ones are. So, G team name Axis, that's the other team name. Uh, usually that's, okay, that's 19 characters, so I changed this to modded lobbies and modded lobbies is currently in green but if I do that that makes modded in green and lobbies in cyan and if I highlight that it's only 16 characters so 17, 18, 19 there you go that's 19 characters now still not changed the file size at all um, d-pad killstreak EMP I would rather have the nuke symbol for the team icon so that adds an extra character, so just delete one of these and that keeps the file size the same. Uh, so it's all about keeping the file size the same. Back speed scale, put that to 20, that allows you to go backwards into a flight of stairs and go flying out of the map like I do in my XB lobby video. So that adds an extra character. So remove a character from here. So that's all I'm doing by editing the DLLs, making sure I keep the file size the same amount of characters, 1,209. Um, so I have an example actually of my actual edit DLL that I did in my XP lobby video so you can see all the mods that I've added just to make it, uh, this tutorial a bit shorter so I don't go and do every single edit. I'll put them side by side so you can see. Um, so as you can see they're exactly the same file size and if we just go and have a look so the top one's the original the bottom one is the my edit so um, obviously I changed the clan tag clan name I changed the team allies I changed the team axis killstreak nuke 
I changed the um, icon from the AC-130 to the spinning 10th emblem. And where you can find all these DVARs, um, here there's a DVAR list, I'll put this in the description, where you can find out um, you know, all the different DVARs that you might want, all the different mods that you might want in your game. Like say you wanted Pro Mod and you didn't know what the DVAR was, it's right here. CG Gun X and then the value. So that's all there for you, I'll put that in the description so you can um, work away at that. Find out what mods you would want. Didn't change any of this. Um, I don't think that makes much of a difference. Sprint Unlimited 1, that's all the same. Perk Armor Fusing Damage. Um, anything else? Did I change anything else? I added knockback. Uh, changed the message of the day. So, a few other things that I've edited there. Um, but yeah, basically, once you have done your edit, so if I just undo this until... Uh, no, actually, I'll just do, I'll delete this whole thing. So I just delete that and back to this one. So after I've done my edits, so I did a bit of editing on this line. So what I'll do is I copy it, make sure it's the correct size again, keep checking 1209, which is right. So now I'll go into the actual DLL itself and just paste, highlight this whole line and control V to paste the one from the other one, the, the one we edited. And now just to make sure you want to highlight that line and make sure this correct size, 1209 characters, which it is. Now you can click save. And the moment of truth really is um, when you go to recompile it. All right, so of course it has to be re-encrypted uh, like it was before, otherwise it won't work. So what we do is open up our CMD again. I should have kept it open actually, I shouldn't have closed this. Um, and our edit DLL document. And now we go down to number eight, recompressing it. So copy this code. Again, we change the name of the DLL if you're using a different DLL with a different name. So paste, press enter. It should say dev kit unencrypted uncompressed. So as you can see now, um, uh, sorry, unencrypted and compressed, which means it's not encrypted still, it's still unencrypted, but it is compressed. So it's back to its 78 kilobyte size. And now to actually re-encrypt it, we use the next line down and paste that in, enter. Now it is encrypted and compressed, just like it was before. So now if we edit in Notepad++, um, you should notice that on line 11, it's just all, I don't know, all encrypted code. So that's it, it works. Now if for any reason you type in these codes, uh, like obviously the first one should work for unencrypting it, but if you make an edit and then you do this and you try recompressing it or try re-encrypting it and it says XEX tool has stopped working um, it means that you have edited the file size um, which means obviously you have to go back and re-edit it and make sure that it is exactly the same size uh, like I did. So that's how I edit a DLL personally. Um, I think well, for me, that's the best method. I don't like using hex editors. It's just more confusing to me to use a hex editor. I prefer Notepad++. Um, but that's how I do it. So, of course, the links to the DVAR lists and um, this particular DLL as well that you can freely edit will be in the description. Um, so, yeah, enjoy editing your DLLs. I hope you succeed. And, um, yeah, anyway, keep requesting requesting um, 
tutorials and I'll make them of course. So thanks for watching and I shall hopefully see you in my next video. Um, don't forget to comment if you've got any questions, like the video if you liked it and found it useful and of course subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. This is really how we live.